Hey, it's Chris. So how much space do you actually need for a Peloton bike? Let's see if I can answer that in today's video. And of course, before we get started, hit subscribe, it helps me out, helps out the channel. So let's go head on over to the output, which is Peloton's blog. And I'll put a link to this article from their blog down in the description below if you wanna go check it out. So their article is titled, Will It Fit Our Favorite Ways to Put a Peloton in a Small Space? So looking at all these photos, we'll just look at a few of them here. So starting off, the bat with the first one, which is Jackie Jenkins here. So it is a 15 by 11 foot home. Bike is up facing the window and you have room on the left, right, and behind the bike to do floor exercises. Um, this is a great option too, where you have that space there where the desk is. You can kind of put the front of the bike up in there and you have all that space back there. Great option there. And as we go on to the next one, so uh, PJ here, his setup is, a little more traditional and a little more like how my setup is here. So you have the bike and then to the left of the bike is where you can do your floor workouts. So this is not as efficient when it comes to tight spaces, but if you got the space like, like I have here and like PJS here, it's a great option. It's a little more roomy. So when it comes to the exact opposite of roomy, Lori Walker has her Peloton in her master closet. So it depends, again, if depends on what you're trying to accomplish with the bike. If you're riding a lot and doing a lot of cardio, a lot of the toning on the bike, that's plenty of space. You need two feet by four feet for the footprint of the bike, a little extra, maybe another foot. So three feet by, was that five feet? And you can do everything that's offered on this bike, on the bike. You know, need a little more space extra if you wanna do stuff off the bike, all the boot camps and all that, strength training. Holly Jensen's bike is in her bedroom. <laughs> Squeeze between her bed and a window. To do bike boot camp classes, she swivels the screen to face the only available floor space across the room on the other side of the bed. Now this is extreme creativity. I and mean, if you have that space over, you can see this is like a little TV, you know, 23.8 inches, I think. So you can see that in that free space over there. Good example of squeezing that bike in an extremely tight space. Last is Sharon Cooper. She has hers in, it's basically a playroom and crafting space. This is a lot of kind of like what I'm doing here, which is I have a game room and then I also have the Peloton. So all these are great options. And again, the link for all this is down below if you wanna read more about them when it comes to fitting that Peloton in a tight space, if you're one of those people who think you're gonna to have to do that. So next up, we're gonna talk about my space here so it is seven foot by seven feet oh, hold on for a second let me change the camera view here back up so you can get a better view of this ready and so the way i utilize this is obviously we will ride the bike and i have enough space so i don't hit the wall over here and then whenever i am doing floor exercises sometimes we will do you know bent over whatever these things are called put them if you know what this is called put it in the comments below and you will do these things um, and then we'll do push-ups. We'll lay on the floor and do oh, my chest presses. You can see here, I'm in that seven foot by seven foot with space to go. And, oh, and if I wanna do stuff this way, I have all the space that I need. There are a lot of options when it comes to where you can put your Peloton bike. You can put it in a home office. You can put it in a closet if you don't have a lot of space. Or like me, you have a little section of the room here you've dedicated it to. The great thing about it with that two foot by four foot footprint, you have a lot of options of where you can fit this thing. So hopefully this video was useful. If you did, please go give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, on Peloton, other active lifestyle gadgets, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you have questions or comments about how much space do you think you may need, go ahead and hit me up down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.